After the success of the original Assassin's Creed, our ambition is to build upon the uniqueness of the first game, but this time on a much bigger scope. Our priority is to offer variety in all the compartments of the game. And here we are, Venice at the end of the 15th century. A new time period and a new hero, Ezio Auditore de Frienze. And he's on a quest for vengeance, which you'll learn more about as the game progresses. It's you! As you can see here, you can use your environment to assassinate your enemies. You just need to wait for the right moment and finish them off. The crowd is still one of the central focuses of Assassin's Creed II. And of course, we've adapted its look and feel to the Italian Renaissance. This Venetian carnival is a custom we wanted to include in our game. Now I'm headed to the top of the tower, where Leonardo da Vinci is supposed to have left a little something for me. Ezio is on his way to kill Carlo Grimaldi, one of Italy's most notorious evil men. He's hiding in a seemingly impenetrable fortress, the Ducal Palace. As we mentioned before, assassinations are now virtually possible from everywhere. You want to make it possible in any situation, in any environment, to take out your opponent. From this top position, we can see the whole city of Venice, and in the far distance, you can see the famous Plaza San Marco, our ultimate destination. So this is the surprise left for me by Leonardo da Vinci, the flying machine. This new sequence shows how we always play with some what-ifs of the time period. We try to anticipate what would have been people's reactions if Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine actually did work. Here's the Rialto. Looks like the crowd is quite frightened by my flying machine. I also am using the hot air from the fires to give me attitude and speed. The fires were lit by my friends, thieves, NPC characters, who helped me plan this infiltration. I've almost reached my destination, and in front of me is the Basilica, and here, the Ducal Palace. It is very well guarded, and that's why I need to use my flying machine to infiltrate the palace and avoid drawing guards' attentions. That thing! Stop it! This is my target in this mission, Carlo Grimaldi, one of the most powerful men in Venice. I know you're here! Assassin! Show yourself! Or are you afraid? Again, we've kept the air assassinations from the first game, but we also have some new ones as well. Ezio has two hidden blades now, which makes him twice as lethal. Now let's focus on our target. Hiding spots are no longer totally safe in Assassin's Creed 2, as some guards now have the capacity to search them, but Ezio also has some new moves to neutralize them. There he is! Portatemi la sua testa! We've worked a lot on this fight system, again with the objective of adding more variety than the first Assassin's Creed. You have two new types of enemies here. This is the Seeker with his halberd. And next to him, with the axe is the Brute, the heavy armored enemy. There's much more variety in weapons as well. There will be more than 30 in the game. New to this game, I can disarm enemies and use their weapons against them. Let's assassinate our target. You really are the devil. Wait! I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I'll give you anything you want. Name your price. I make this sacrifice for the greater good. Requiescat in pace. We've successfully killed our target, but the guards are alerted. The smoke bomb. Very efficient when things get a little hot. Now, let's escape by diving into the water. This ends our demo today. This is really a first glimpse at the new diversity of the Assassin's Creed experience. 
You have seen new gameplay types, new ways to assassinate, new moves and weapons in fight, and believe me, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Thank you.